Hi, my name is Andy Davis and I'd like to welcome you to this E3D tutorial on FastCloth Alpha creation in ZBrush. I'm going to show you a quick and efficient way to create uh, cloth alphas in ZBrush, similar to what you see here. This method has been around for a while, but it seems that not a lot of people know it anymore, so um, I thought I would just refresh everyone's memories. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the document palette over here and then uncheck constraint proportions and then change the uh, width and height of the document to something pretty big. So I'm going to use 2048 and then click resize. This will resize the document. Then you want to uh, go to the zoom document uh, button here and just zoom out the document until you can see the bounds. And uh, then the first thing we're going to do is go over to this uh, simple tool icon here and then uh, you want to select single layer brush. And then you want to change your uh, brush size to be pretty large here because um, what we want to do is we want to uh, paint uh, the background of the document here so that there's no space you entirely fill this now this is very important that you do this because uh, if you don't fill the entire space then the alpha that we're going to create won't uh, have the correct values just want to just double check everything uh, when you're doing this, you only want to um, you want to do it in one single stroke, uh, if you can. Okay, that looks good. Okay, and then uh, just reduce the brush size a little tiny bit, and then you want to just want to make some uh, little shapes here. And that looks pretty good here. Now this will be the basis of our cloth and um, so you want to click over into the uh, tool button here and then you want to select smudge brush now what you want to do is you want to smudge um, all this here as much as you can just to start going into the center and um, make sure it doesn't touch the edges and then what you want to do is you just want to start swirling around and just making some random shapes and as you can see, it already starts to look like silk or something like that. Just want to go around and try and have some fun with this. Just try and make some interesting shapes. Uh, you, once that's done, you want to go over to the alpha button here. Um, and then you want to go to grab dock, which will grab your alpha here. And then you want to do then you want to uh, change your alpha so that the cloth um, alpha is no longer present um, and change it back to alpha zero one and then just do a bit more let's try and get some uh, interesting shapes And then go over to your grab dock again and do the same as before, just change your alpha. Um, and, and we want to probably want to add um, a couple more splodges here. Because um, the longer you do this, the more the geometry becomes smoothed out and smudged. So you might want to add some more peaks for a variation. And then just like you now smudge again. And just keep on going around until, until you find something that's aesthetically pleasing. Okay, and then go to grab dock again and change your alpha. Um, add some more strokes from the single layer brush. Go back to smudge, smudge them in. And go to grab dock. As you can see here, we've got four alphas so far, so we should try and do just a couple more. It's very easy to get um, caught up in this and just uh, continue smudging around and then realize that um, 
you know, you used to kind of forget that you're doing alphas and it's uh, all very therapeutic. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. And then we'll just go over here and grab Doc. And here we have eight uh, different alphas, um, which all run super fast. So then what you can do is you can just go out and save these. So uh, select an alpha and go to export. And then we'll just head to our, our folder. Just um, export all of these here. Okay, and once you've done that, uh, just press T and then Control N, make a new document. Um, but actually, it might be an idea to change the size of this to something, uh, something a bit more manageable. So let's say 1500 by 1125. Let's click yes. Okay, just to show this off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab a Sphere 3D here and make it a Polymesh 3D. Drag it down to the canvas and change so the poles are facing up and down. And then uh, just divide it a bunch of times. And I'm just going to show you how quickly we can get something that looks reasonable. So you just go to your stroke over here with the standard brush and then click drag rect and then load one of the alphas and just drag outwards. And as you can see, you're already getting a really convincing um, cloth effect here. And then just change to another one. And just change, just drag that out, and then change to another one. And you can rotate these around uh, based on the direction that you're dragging. Um, and then just change to another one. Just keep on dragging around. As you drag these out, you can try and link up the folds. As you can see, this fold in the center, in the top center here. Um, if I drag it out and rotate it slightly, it fits one of the previous folds. Um, so it's pretty seamless. And now, uh, once you've got something reasonable like this, what you can do, you can always like, add a, another layer, and then go to something like the Selby brushes. And then um, now you can always just like reinforce what you've got here. I believe these come um, as default in ZBrush now. Just go and read round and just reinforce everything. And uh, just add some new shapes where you think it would look good. I think we pretty much got everything there. change this to um, another material maybe something a little cloth like something like this is pretty cool so I'll just give this a nice BPR render here So yeah, I hope you've uh, enjoyed the tutorial and that you'll find this technique useful and I'll see you again soon.